What's up, Odoers? Like most manufacturing operations, our production line consists of several work centers along with the equipment we use at them. As you can imagine, our work centers and equipment suffer from occasional malfunctions and must be fixed. When this happens, we can create a maintenance request to make sure the issue is brought to the attention of the relevant maintenance team. Now, there are multiple ways to create maintenance requests, including through the maintenance app itself, from the MO on the manufacturing app, or from a work order in the shop floor app. So let's jump into our Odoo database so we can see how to create and manage maintenance requests. All right, the first thing we need to do is learn how to create a new maintenance request. As I mentioned, there are a few different ways we can do this. So let's start in the maintenance application. From the maintenance dashboard, which shows me each of my maintenance teams, all I need to do is navigate to maintenance at the top of the screen and then click on maintenance request. And then click new to open up a new maintenance request form. I also have the option to navigate to maintenance once again and then maintenance calendar. And here I can click on a specific cell to schedule a request for that date and time. And once I do, this pop-up appears in which I can give this request a name before clicking create, which would open up the same form that we just saw. Next, let's hop over to the shop floor application. Here we need to select the tab for a specific work center, like our saw station, for example. Then I'll pick a work order and click on the gear icon that appears at the bottom right. And when I do, all I have to click on is request maintenance from the pop-up window. The final way to create a maintenance request is through the manufacturing application, which I'll navigate to now. Then select operations at the top of the screen and then manufacturing orders. Then I'll select a manufacturing order or MO. And at the top of the MO, I can click the maintenance request button. And when I do, you guessed it, the maintenance request form appears. As you can see, we have a lot of options for creating maintenance requests. This provides manufacturing options with lots of flexibility in terms of who can create requests and when they are created during the manufacturing process. Now, let's see how to actually fill out one of these forms. We'll use this blank form that we just opened. And for example, let's say the power stopped working at our saw station. So let's give this maintenance request a name, something simple and straightforward like no power at saw station. Perfect. The created by field is automatically filled out with my name, but I can always choose a different employee if necessary. Below that, we have the for field, which allows me to specify if the request is being created for a piece of equipment or the entire work center. We're creating this request for our saw station, so let's change this from equipment to work center. And when I do, this causes a work center field to appear, and in this field, all I have to do is select saw station. Now directly below that in the worksheet template field, we can select a worksheet for our maintenance employees to fill out while processing this request. We'll cover worksheet templates in a different video, so I'm just gonna leave this blank for now. The request date field is locked in for today's date since today is the day we're creating the request. In the maintenance type field here, I can select whether this maintenance is corrective, intended to fix an existing issue, or preventative, which is intended to prevent issues from occurring in the future. I'll leave this as corrective for now. Now in the manufacturing order field, the MO is automatically selected since we created the request from that MO. Anytime an MO work order is selected, a work order field appears below. And let's just say the power issue occurred during the cut legs operation. So we'll select that from the drop down field below. Next, I'll use the team field to assign this request to our work center team. Then I'll select a employee in the responsible field to manage this request and we'll use Jose. This is pretty urgent, so for the scheduled date, let's select on the calendar date for tomorrow by selecting the date and then simply clicking apply. And I'm not too sure how long this request is gonna take, so we'll leave the duration field blank at zero so the maintenance team can fill it out once they're done. Now, since this request is created for a work center, a block work center checkbox appears. This allows me to prevent work orders from being scheduled at the work center. However, since we're creating this request from an MO with the work orders that need to be carried out at the SAW station, ticking this checkbox will return an error when we try to save the request. So I'm gonna leave this blank for now. Finally, since this is such an important issue, let's give this a three-star priority so it appears at the top of the maintenance request Kanban view. 
Now in the notes section, I'll leave a brief note about the problem at the work center. You can do something like, none of the work center's outlet provide any power. You can also provide instructions through the instructions tab but I'm not gonna worry about this for now since I'm not sure how to fix the issue. All right, now that we've created a maintenance request, let's see how to manage them. To do that, I'll navigate to the maintenance application. And here I can see all the to-do or scheduled requests from a specific team by clicking the to-do buttons. I can also see every request regardless of the assigned team by clicking on maintenance and then maintenance requests and doing so shows the selected request in a Kanban view. This view works the same as most other Kanban views in Odoo, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail about that, but there is one specific maintenance option that I will mention, and if I click the gear icon of a specific stage and then click on edit, I can see there's a request confirmed option. If this is enabled, I can move a maintenance request for a work center to this stage, the work center will be blocked for a duration that's specified on the request form. Finally, I want to show you another way how to manage maintenance requests, and that's through the maintenance calendar, which I can navigate to maintenance and then maintenance calendar once again. And the calendar shows me all of my scheduled requests, and I can reschedule any of them simply by dragging and dropping them to another date or time. If I click on that specific request, I am shown all of its key details and I can also delete or edit this to open its form. And that's all I've got for you today, folks. If you've made it all the way to the end of this video, you now know how to create and manage maintenance requests. Thanks for sticking around and I'll see you next time.